Steelers are on a short week, but a win this Thursday against the Vikings could really bolster their playoff chances. Ben Roethlisberger threw two touchdowns and a thrilling win over the Ravens last week. The second one coming in the fourth quarter to Deontay Johnson, followed by a two-point conversion to Pat Fryermuth. That gave the Steelers a seven-point lead. We know the Ravens scored a TD, went for two, did not get it. So the win got the terrible talents to 6-5-1 and one in the short week in Minnesota. Nothing but tough games the rest of the way for Pittsburgh. Sportsline doesn't give them a great shot to getting to the postseason. Just a 29.2 probability and an even lesser projection for the division at 10.5%. All right, let's get the conversation started. Our NFL insider Jason Lockenfora joining us here on CBS Sports HQ. So, Jason, the Steelers got a tough schedule, including a short week. They're getting three points here this week, and it's a good likelihood they'll be an underdog in all of the games the rest of the way. What do we think about their path to the postseason? It's going to be tough. Uh, they're a flawed team right now. There's, there's no two ways about that. You can go back to um, their win over the Bears, their tie with the Lions, um, the troubling beatdown by the Bengals, and their survival of a Ravens team that's incredibly limited on offense right now. And then you look at this stretch and say, well, it might be tough sledding. For the Steelers, I mean, look, Tomlin's been there, done that. Big Ben's been there, done that. A lot of guys on their team been there, done that. So I wouldn't write them off, but I, I think they've got a difficult uh, situation here because offensively, there's not a lot of there there right now. You know, Najee Harris, the last seven games, is, is, you're talking about somebody under four yards to carry. They are running the ball as a team. Um, deep plays, not really any to be had. You're relying on, a, on quick, quick screens, quick slants and hopefully getting a lot of yak. Uh, and defensively, when T.J. Watt's right, it's a, it's a great defense. If T.J. Watt's anything other than an absolute game-breaker, Hall of Fame-type performance, the margins get really, really slim there, and, and they are vulnerable to the run, especially when you put them in nickel packages, get three receivers on the field, and run out of a spread look. They're hemorrhaging yards. Baltimore didn't do nearly enough of that over the weekend. Um, but I think you'll see Minnesota do quite a bit of it. Uh, so I, I wouldn't write them off, but I, I, I'm not sure at the end of the day that, that they're a postseason team. All right, we do know that if they make it, they will certainly have deserved it, beating some good teams and catching points in every game except yeah. maybe the Cleveland game, uh, depending on how that folds out when they get there. On the do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.